Hello everyone. Welcome back to a lecture series of KD in Data Science and Artificial Intelligence. This is lecture number four for artificial for artificial intelligence syllabus. So in the previous lecture we have discussed about depth first search. In that we have discussed one graph traversal problem by using depth first search. We have also discussed what is stack data structure, right? So if you have not watched that lecture, please watch it before watching this lecture. So in this lecture, we are going to discuss one more example for that first search. So that will be a puzzle that is maze puzzles. Okay. So let's start the session. Okay, great. So this is the example that we are going to discuss in today's session. So this is basically a maze puzzle example. Here we have initial state that is our A and we have a goal state that is B. So we need to reach this particular state B particular location B from A. So we need to go from A to B and for that we need to find a particular path, right? And this is our AI agent is playing this puzzle game. This AI agent know only four choices. Either he can move left, right, up and down, right? And what are the possible actions he can do? So out of these four choices, any action he can perform. Now we are going to solve this particular puzzle by using depth first search. How this how how our AI agent will solve this particular problem by using depth first search. Let us try to discuss that. Now, this is my initial state. I will start from here. So I will go like this. I will follow one particular path because I don't have any decision to make here, right? Now, this is basically a decision point. Now, either I can go on the left hand side or either I can go on the right hand side. Right. So let us go on the left hand side uh, that will follow like whenever we got some situation to follow, we'll always go on the left hand side. Let us fix that first. Okay. We'll see what happens. Now, if I go on the left hand side, right, I will keep moving on the left hand side. Again, I got a decision point here. Either I can go on left hand side or right hand side. So again, I will go, I will go towards left hand side, right? So if I keep continuing doing this, continuing this particular path, I will reach this particular state that is the end state right so i don't have any other part to explore after this and this is not my goal state also so what i have to do i have to backtrack to my last state so we are following that first search so in this case what happened whatever the last decision point was there so last in first out right so whatever the last a particular position was there in a stack that we are going to explore so last position that was there in the stack was basically this decision point. Now we can go on the right hand side. Okay, so if we keep following this, here you can see we reach a dead end. This is also not our uh, particular goal, right? And we don't have any path to follow. Now in the stack, our next decision point is this point, right? This point you can see. Now here I can go on the right hand side. So let's go on the right hand side. See by continuing this. Now this is my decision point. Either I can continue this path, go up straight, or I can go on the right hand side. So we'll go straight. Yeah. So same thing. Dead, dead, dead arises. We don't have any particular path to follow now, right? Again, our decision point is this basically, right? So in our stack, we have to follow this path. So let's try to do that. So we are following this particular path, right? Again, we have decision point. Either I can go straight or I can move left. So what we are saying, like in the base scenario, I can move on the left hand side. So that's what we have. We are following from the start. So if I go on the left hand side, I will reach to this particular decision point. Now again, I have two options. I can go left. Either I can go right. So that's what we are following. We are going on the left hand side first. Let's try to explore this. Yeah. So this is our dead end. We don't have any other path to explore, and this is not our required path. So to my last. Decision point is basically this, right? So last in, first out. So whatever the decision point, decision node we have made last, that we have to take and that we have to explore it, right? So I will keep following this particular path now on the right hand side. So I will go like this, like this, like this, like this, like this, like this. And finally, I am reaching my particular end state, that is my point B. So this is how this depth first search will work. So here you can see we start from here, then we go on this side, we found the dead end, then we backtrack on this side, then we Again, move on to this particular path. We found dead end, and we found dead end, and again we backtrack. Then finally, we found our particular goal state, right? So here in this case, we found our solution, right? So I can follow this particular path like this, so so that I can reach the particular point that is B. So this is what depth first search is, and this is how stack data structure will work based on last in first out principle.
<laughs> Here you can see we got a solution, but this is not the optimal solution, right? Our aim, our goal is to find the optimal solution, right? So it is so that's what we have discussed in the last lecture. It may or may not possible to find a solution in the case of depth first search if there is infinite uh, loop. In this case, in this example, we have limited search space. What if we have unlimited infinite search space or we have loop in that? So in that case, we may not get a solution also, right? But this is a uh, this is a limited search space, and so we will get to a particular uh, goal state, right? So this is what a depth first search is. Now look at this particular example, right? Now look at this particular puzzle. Same example, right? So either I can go upward like this, right? Like this, like this, like this, like this, like this, and I can reach the point B. But this is my solution, but this is not the optimal solution. The optimal way is like this, right? If I go by this particular path, I can reach this B. But what our AI agent has done that he has followed this particular path, right? So, right, this is our optimal path. So what AI agent is done? So it has given the solution, but uh, it's not. It is not the optimal solution, right? So I hope you understand this particular example. Uh, that's it from this particular video. I hope you understand the exa this example. This is how AI agent will uh, follow the first search algorithm, right? if we are given any tasks to them. So that's it from my side. Thank you.